gas prices in Illinois on average are 540 as of Monday. Down in Missouri, it was 445 on average. That is nearly one full dollar of a price difference between the state of Illinois and the state of Missouri, according to AAA Automotive. Uh, It's a big issue. It's a big problem. A lot of people are feeling that pinch at the gas pump. It is not a good time for anybody that uh, drives a a vehicle that's not as fuel efficient, say some of your work drugs trucks out there, uh, be it uh, you know construction crews, uh, crews that have to haul around big equipment to do a job, uh, they're seeing increased costs. It's not just on the private side either. It's on the public side. And you as the taxpayer are footing that bill. So you're getting hit from all sides when it comes to fuel prices. Now, 6.53, I'm Greg Bishop. It is Springfield's Morning News on 92.7 WMAY, Springfield's News and Talk. I connected with a couple of municipal leaders yesterday to kind of get a feel for what municipalities are dealing with uh, when it comes to fuel costs. And uh, a statement I got from the city of Alton said that they have uh, worked on their budget uh, to deal with the increased fuel costs. And uh, while they're not happy about the increased fuel costs at the city of Alton, uh, they are um, under budget at this time. Uh, I also reached out to Springfield City Budget Director Bill McCarty for what they're experiencing in the city of Springfield. Uh, and here's some of what uh, Budget Director McCarty had to say. First thing is we knew that gas prices were going up back when we did the budget. Remember, our budget went into effect March 1st. So we had the, I guess, the uh, good fortune to know that gas prices were on their way up when we were preparing everything. And in fact, we ended up adding some dollars, some significant dollars to our police, our fire and our public works budgets for gasoline, for fuel ahead of time. In fact, I think in police, for instance, we upped it by, I want to say $50,000, maybe $75,000 alone, knowing that gas prices were going up. Now, I'll be honest with you, none of us saw gas prices going up to the degree that they've gone up. And it is a bit alarming to us. One of the things that we've done, and I did it, I sent out a memo to the two chiefs and the public works director back, it's been well over a month now, probably pretty close to sometime in March, maybe early April, just making them aware of the situation, which will maybe not make some of those discretionary trips that they used to make, if at all possible. And they, of course, sent that out to to their different staffs and, and let them know. And hopefully we're seeing some positive results from that. Um, the one thing that I want to bring up that I don't know if, if if folks are thinking about it or not, but there's actually two sides to this coin. Yeah, it's going to cost us more in fuel, but our sales taxes are going to go up from the higher price in fuel as well. Remember, sales tax is a percentage of the cost of anything. So as gas prices go up, the taxes being paid on that are going to go up as well, which will offset some of the added fuel expense for our city vehicles. Uh, so. I took a look at the budgets this morning. I took a look at what we were spending to date, and we're a little bit higher than anticipated, but not terrible at this point in time. If we get to a point where later on in the year, perhaps the conflict in Ukraine goes away, perhaps we see some economic or or fiscal macro conditions change, then we could be in a situation where we're prices start to come down. I know that there's talks about maybe trying to increase capacity as well, look for other alternatives, other outlets for fuel. If those kinds of things can happen and we see that come down, I think we're going to be all right in the city of Springfield. So again, that's uh, Budget Director Bill McCarty talking about the fuel prices and how uh, taxpayers are being hit by uh, them having to fill up. But he also suggested that there could be an offset because of uh, the amount of sales tax that the city gets back. The sales tax that's on top of uh, motor fuel uh, and the price of motor fuel. Uh, so I also reached out to um, uh, Illinois Municipal League's Brad Cole uh, to get his take on how cities across the state are being impacted by high fuel prices and in particular particular how taxpayers, uh, the ones who fund these cities, are being impacted. Anytime utility costs or costs for normal goods and services go up, they affect city governments just like everybody else. When electric utility costs go up, the light bills go up to keep the street lights on and traffic signals running. In this case, with gasoline prices increasing, That means higher costs to keep the squad cars running, which go 24 hours a day, or public works vehicles, or fire engines. All of the things that when when a citizen sees a municipal vehicle going by, those are all 
using gas and they are paying more just like the taxpayer is, except the taxpayer's got to pay for that too. So it's a double hit on taxpayers. Cities, villages, and towns have to pay the higher price for gasoline just like everybody else, except they're using their vehicles 24-7, which adds an additional level of expense. Now, uh, when we talked with uh, Bill McCarty, he laid out some suggestions like not doing discretionary uh, travel and trying to cut back on that type of stuff. I asked Brad Cole of the Municipal League, uh, kind of same question. What can be done here? In this particular instance, a lot of communities have anti-idling policies so that squad cars and public works vehicles are not running all the time. Uh, Of course, this is an issue uh, for every municipal department or any local government. So uh, anywhere from cutting the grass on city property and using gasoline in the lawnmowers to uh, public works or public safety vehicles, the users, city employees and city management just have to make sure they're doing it efficiently, but they still have to provide the service. And that service includes fire protection, uh, police protection. Uh, You got to imagine a whole host of other things, public works, being able to fill potholes and whatnot. All of that costs fuel uh, and the taxpayers are footing that bill. Uh, But what about uh, the suggestion that McCarty had about uh, possible offsetting of the high price by the influx of sales tax dollars that come to cities from the sales taxes on top of the gas? Tax. Uh, the 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 ratio may not be one to one. Here's uh, Brad Cole responding to that. Well, not really. I mean, there are additional costs that are being paid by municipalities for the services they have to provide. There's additional costs that are being paid by the taxpayers. Um, it's not a one for one. And anytime these inflationary increases are applied, somebody's got to pay more. Uh, but in this case, everybody has to pay more. So. No municipality is happy right now because gas prices are so high that they're going to get more out of tax revenue on those gas pumps. No municipality, no local elected official is happy about this cost increase at the gas pump right now. And again, uh, the costs in Illinois yesterday was five forty a gallon on average, and down in Missouri, it was four forty five. So. A difference of 95 cents from Illinois to Missouri. Pretty incredible. All right. uh, That's all I got for you this hour here with Double.